In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tip on how to sync your Android phone with iTunes and iPhoto. So first, what you're going to want to do is go to Google and search Soling Media Sync. And the first link that pops up should be the one you want to click. And from here, you have two options. You can pay for the paid version or download the free version. And from what I'm aware of, the paid version claims to have faster syncing than the basic version, which is the free version. But for me, the free version is enough. I, down, I, I synced 370 songs in 13 minutes, which was great. And especially, it's amazing since it's a free alternative to many apps that you have to pay for, like the Missing Sync. So we'll go ahead and download the free version, which is what I recommend, and open it up. And the really neat thing about this app is that it's a media bar, a menu bar application. So it stays on your menu bar. You only have to open it up once, and it's there for good. So once you've downloaded it and you can see the icon on your menu bar, you're going to want to just mount your phone. Once your phone is mounted, it's pretty easy from here. You'll see a pop-up window appear, which should appear any second now, and it will notify you that your Android phone's been detected. So here's the pop-up window I was talking about, and the really neat thing about this is it, it has a summary page, and it shows you how much space each particular category of media file is taking up in this menu bar over here. So it shows... It, w it would show on mine it doesn't show just because I haven't synced with with this particular particular Mac but it would show how much space music has taken up and it would show a bar for that and how much space pictures have taken up and it would show a bar and so on and so forth and I'm pretty sure that's how iTunes does it and it's a really nice uh, feature so what you guys really want to know is how to sync with music so you're gonna want to go up to this music tab click that and make sure all songs and playlists are checked or you can go ahead and just select the playlist you want to sync and you would just click the sync button and it would sync for me I don't need to sync just because there are no changes that I have had in my iTunes library so I hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe for more video uh, just get updated with my videos and rate this video please and comment below thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video